Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Let's see if we can get these things working. We'll test the light first. Got me self a cord. Holy dooly, that's a no-go for me. So we have to side cutter that one cord off. What about the old washer? What's about the old washer? We'll get to and pull one of these lights apart too, these big, big cast alloy ones. What are we going to come up with? What's it going to tell me? Power on. Oh, that goes, oh no, straight out. Whatever that code is, not fixing it. Yeah, no, nah, she's malfunctioning in the circuit board. Oh shit, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> I haven't even bothered taking the door. Well, I wonder if it's to do with this. Shouldn't be. I've done it before and hasn't worried about it. Nah. She's a pull apart job, that. So there's scrap straight out. Straighten the trash. Pull the cord out. We'll pull that apart later. Not today. It's about the only one I've got here. Clean bench right here. So we're going to put the stuff over that. I'm liking the way we've got things at the moment. Uh, when we're both working on this bench here, we can just chuck it straight over into these bins. We've got the lights all done from last week. Bit of extruded alloy there and our domestic alloy here. It's working out great. Totally liking it the way we've got it set up now. A lot better. No, it's a lot better than the way we than the way we had it with all these IBC pods outside that shade cloth. Now we've taken the shade cloth down, as you noticed from last video, um, from a week ago, that we're doing pressing steel, pressing steel, pressing steel. Um, I've got the washing machine carcasses out there, so I've got to try and work out whether I'm going to get the plasma cutter out, cut them up, chuck them in here. But it, it is very time consuming. So I think I've only got three out there. I've got two washing machine tubs out there in those two anyway, so one in each. Um, I did do a real heavy washing machine, couldn't get a bit of heavy stuff off there. It was just going to be too time consuming. If it takes too long to pull apart, don't pull it apart, just chuck it straight in, that's what I do. So that one's just about full, that one's getting close to ready to load up onto the white ute. Um, I won't load it up until such times as we've got two. So I'll only take over probably three on, on that. Um, but then again, you know, it is easier just putting the two on the back of that and putting one on the trailer. So it makes it a lot easier. But anyway, let's get this all unloaded. So we've got that goes over there. Oh, I didn't get that. Our can's straight in our bag. We'll get all these out. Grab a tub. I've got one down here. We'll take these over to our bench. Well, doesn't matter whose bench now. That's got some fancy stickers on it. It's all cast alloy. Get them up there. That looks like stainless. Feels like stainless. I think it may be. Come here, Maggie. Mm, there's some stickiness in it. It's a bit of cast alloy in the gut. Cut it down there with the grinder. I'll chuck it in there anyway. That looks a bit the same. Up here, put all these in that. I think that's directly domestic alloy. Yep, it's handy having a magnet. Put them all in their places. Now, we haven't got around to doing the rest of these in the from last week. It's about the only thing we haven't done, these things. They're down there. So we just got to get the brass out of those. That's about all in that. Uh, a bit of strippable wire. We've got to still do that. So we're, we're slowly getting there and catching up on a lot of stuff. Besides working around here. Got water going today. You probably notice in the distance. Got this lot going. I've got up on the bank over here going. So yeah, tomorrow I'll probably be in mowing the whole thing. Yeah, so it's busy, busy, busy all the time here. Nothing, nothing's a dull day anyway. How about I just put this all in there and pour it in one? That'd be better. Do that, mate. We don't need that anymore. No, we can do away with that. 
chop and change here a little bit everyone don't mind me I get sidetracked sit that up there mm, nest. sit that up there so we can do one got to have the barra as well wherever the barra has gone Oh, up there. <laughs> Never know where stuff is around here. Right, that can go with that. A couple of those. Probably best to get this washer out of the road. These airbags. If I get a bit of time, I'll get them done too. See if we it down there. Oh, it's made it a lot cleaner the way we've got it. A lot easier for us as well. Gives us more room. Well, I think so anyway. A bit of wire there, what is that? That's high class, that is low grade wire. Put that into there. Pick up the one I missed. There, get our bottles and cans. We already, this is the remains from last week. What was already in the bag. Get that out of my road. Like even though we didn't get much last night, every bit, little bit counts. I missed, I'm no good at basketball. Cast alloy, complete straight out clean as. Straight in there. Hoo -hoo. there. That's domestic. Folding mark to fit in. That in there as well. Right now, the light's got to be processed. It's got to have all the wire taken off, so we'll put that down here. Quick and easy, this stuff. You've got to chop the light off, the wire off that. So just set it like so. Yeah, just chop the bottom off it. That into there. That's a bit of alloy, that. Yeah. I'll just about put it in the pressing steel behind me. Put them in there. Oh, it missed! <laughs> oh, fly, get out of my face. Got the barbecue pulled apart last week, too. Got all the brass out of it. Oh, where's the label for that? Right there. Sit him over here. Sitting there, I'll stick him on with a bit of sticky tape. Seems to work. Yeah, that went in. Score! Yeah! Cheer from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, call me crazy. Doesn't matter. Bit of a character anyway. It's a bit of steel. Up there, we've still got some back there. We've got to put there. Now, I'm getting a bit too far away there. Let's get up there. I'll work around the washer. Put that up there. Put that up there. There's another one of those. Uh, I put them nowhere yet. I might have. I think, yeah, they're over there. light it looks a lot like plastic but it don't not, not please doesn't sound like it and over there that'll go as HMS over there don't run away thank you <laughs> I can go that way 
Now, strippable wire, is that strippable wire? It certainly is. That's the piece we picked up down that alley, the back alley. Might hang on to that. See what I can do with it. It's probably repairable. Put our wire over there. Because it still screws in and out of that. Put that over there. Where's the other half to that? Where is it? It's in here somewhere, I know for sure. Right, where are you, son? All of our cans of paint and stuff are in here too. Nothing's been touched. Bearings, that's the top for it. that through. Hell yeah. Oh, well, give it a go. Give it a go. This will be climbing up to the second bag, this one. Can of paint. Yeah, we'll get everything up the back there. Easy to get out. There. Bottom there. Oh, that one's full. Uh, got caught by that. up the bag, brass bits there, oh I'm we'll just leaving it in the bag I suppose, there's that one half, spare tight holder, up there, I mentioned these to, to Mrs June and uh, she says oh good, so yeah, I was looking for some, there they are, sweet bonus. Now I'm not going to test that spoon, see if it is stainless. Over there, I think, probably the best thing, it, it is probably got steel cable inside, like reinforced hose, oh, I'm going to put it in there anyway. Right, one, over there, pick up that. That spear it over there, missed. That to there. Oh, that one's got to be peeled off. It's got a thing over the barcode. There. Oh, yeah. well, see how good of a shot I use. Grab, gather it all up, put it into a big ball. See if I can get it over there, eh? Hey, where's this ass rest of the bit? See how good of a basketball player I would be. Whether that'll split or not, I don't bloody know. <laughs> That's never been opened. Right, put all this back there. Grab that bottle. Go straight into there. Put this stuff up. It's only going to slide down if I don't. Yeah, back there. Get out of the hole. This is what I was talking about last night about the plastic one. See, that's the plastic one. That's the tin, pardon me, tin one. So I'll just still put it there anyway. Ah, a little bit of wire on that. Cut that off. Same reason I grabbed it. Put that all into that. It's a bit of alloy, a bit of steel there. Right, nothing goes this way. Simple as, nothing up behind. Oh, there's a washing machine finished. Still intestine machines and stuff. Uh, nah, 
I picked that up. The gloves won't let to me. That over there. Everything else is pretty close to be picked from the back. Right, we'll go and get this washing machine working again. Oh, Facebook message as well. Bloody hell. Put that one to that. Down to there. Give that another go. Facebook can wait. <laughs> That's got to go over on the bench. Get all the gear out of it. Right, we're just about done there. That can go in domestic. Oh, that's got to be dealt with. That's that way. Put that down there. Those two down with the other. I should have took it over. Save me a walk. All right, that's got to go down with the lights. Get into that. I think that's about that for that. Here you got the ends in that, got the ends in that, they gotta be sorted. That over there. Put that up onto the bench. It's handy having this big bench now. Mate, it's just unbelievable. The two of us can stand there, we don't worry about who's in the road or whatever. We don't have to worry about space. Right, sit that down there with the lights. That can go. Well, I've got too much crap in my hands. That's all got to be dealt with. I still use up there myself, but it's so much easier for there. Right, finish with that. You can go there. Better pick out a wire up, put it on the ground. I'll get around to doing a video of this soon. I don't know when. Don't know when. Oh, it's got a light switch on it. Bit of brass, it's all right. Don't matter. All right, that one there's got to be peeled off before I can put it in the bag. Just talking through myself so you know where I'm up to. Ah, uh, that can be cut off. Looks like they've tried to cut the thing off anyway. Uh, that into there, there, and there. Because it's all moulded together, you can't actually undo all of those brass bits out of that. So, that's all we do with those ones. Right, these two lights. Down in the process pile. Jeez, we ain't got much to process. 10 minutes and that'll be done. Probably less. Get the old washer off. This is definitely a pull apart job, so I don't, know how, don't care how I get it off. When it's got a code like that, and I don't, would not know really what sort of code that was. Like it might spin and go and all that sort of thing, but nah. We've both been talking, thinking, well, if it ain't a simple fix, don't fix it at all. Scrap it out, get the little bit of money we can. That's off. That'll sit here behind the cupboard till I'm ready to get to it. Hopefully I don't get a whole some bang of them and have a big swamp and think, well, oh, geez, I've got to suffer from doing work around here. It does happen, but not all the time. So it's just that that's just the way it is around here. Like one day, well, even half a day in the shed here, sit that up there, um, is basically two days' work around here. That's the way I gathered. Um, that's the way it's been working too. Like it's easy work around here, go and turn the sprinkler on, jump on the mower, well that mower no work no more. I sort of, yeah, done the wrong thing with that one. <laughs> I won't tell you what happened, but yeah, sort of had a big accident with that one. So I'm left with my own over there. Not good. What have we got there? Not good at all. I'll tell you that. Just about died with that blue one. What I mean by died, I was facing down. Right down. It can go that way. That can go in. Now I'm deciding where things going here. Hands going everywhere. 
All right, that can be closed up. Get these two bottles of water out that haven't been opened. Stick them in the freezer. Those two. I don't know whether we've got those anymore. I don't think so. I'll sit them up here anyway. And we'll get two. Sit them there for now. Um, right. Deal with our bag. Put our clips there. It's not too bad. It filled it up a little bit more. We didn't have many in there. So let's put it up to a quarter of a bag. Now, this thing down here, I think I'll be better off. I don't know whether I can take that apart. Yeah, I can take that apart. Yeah, I could fix that. That's the top piece for that. Uh, yeah, that's the top piece for that. That's that. I could reckon I could fix that. Yeah, bit of weld. My oath, I reckon I could fix it. I'll sit it down there for now. But anyway, let's get into one of these. Get into one of these. See what's inside. Move our chair out of the road. Sit it in there. What do we need? What do we need? Don't know what we need. Oh, it just screws off. That's easy. I can screw it off. See how quick we could get one done. Yeah, bit of glass, normal bulb. Oh, I reckon we could get this done pretty quick. Cause that don't come apart. That's a complete tube. Well, this is going to be easy. That's easy. That one there. Got a screw there, is it? Yes, there's a screw there. This is where I should have the glasses on. Put that in the bin there. It's always handy to have a scrap bin right beside you. You can chuck all your screws in, but if you're using microwaves, that sort of thing, put it in those. Uh, that's over there. That down there. Take the glove off because I can't feel nothing. I'm going to cut my bloody finger here. I've already got them caught in there. That's why I don't wear gloves. I can go there. Not while I'm doing this stuff. I can't see my fingers. Can't see where they are. So, doing this stuff, no gloves for me, thanks. But anyway, that out of there, that can go down there. Push your light out. Be careful not to break the bulb. Geez, they're gonna be simple to pull apart. I wonder if these bulbs would work. I might hang on to a couple. Come on, out you come. Out you come. Probably easy just to chop the wire off. It's not gonna matter. That'll do. Then push the remains in. That's the go, that's one. Why I come back? And that's number two. They're just ordinary sockets. Bugger. I wonder if they'd work. I might take them home. I think there's brass inside there too, so we'll set that aside. Might take them up home, see if they work. I've got none of these sort of fittings down here. So, yeah. They might work. We don't know. So that's that piece. That's certainly that. Now, how does this come out of there? Oh, there's, I've got to get the glasses, everyone. Got to get them. Have them purposely sitting over here all the time. Get them on, get a screwdriver in hand. I think there's a metal clip inside here. There it is there. Get the glass out. Is that a metal clip? No, it might be stainless. Come on, out you come. Don't break on me mongrel might need a bit of heat get the rubber off ah uh, ah uh, me bins over there bugger that into that bin down there all right let's see if we can get this piece of glass out probably a bit of heat under that wouldn't hurt 
good old heat gun grab it here cord here see how we go with this seem to work on the others so we'll go with this see how we go eh Might be just stuck in there. A bit of glue or elastic or something like that. Heat it up. Oh, it's throwing sparks. <laughs> oh, geez. There we go. That worked. That certainly worked for the old heat gun. Come on, go a bit more. Get them out of the road. There we go, makes it easy, nice and clean. That's that one. Oh, we shouldn't have turned it off. Oh, we've got another clip to get out, haven't we? That out of there, I have to give that a grinder test. Not sticky to the magnet, so it might be. St ah, I got the cord in use. All right, we'll get this glass out first. Get it hot like I did before. Put it on high. So if you're breaking the glass and making a mess, flip it over, make sure you know which side you hit. You heat it up, there we go, give it a tap. And it's off. Simple timing. I like that. So that's what we get there. Now we'll change the cord over and test those those um, clips. Where's our other cord? Grinder cord. I like to see if there's a spark or no spark. No point getting a file on this stuff. They're sparking so they're stainless. They are definitely stainless because they're not sticking. So what we do with our stainless, right, we've got a stainless one over here. Clean stainless, that goes into there. So that's that, that's what we're gonna get out of those. So that's pretty good. What's we gonna get out of that? Uh, we'll have a look at this one and that one. How are we gonna get it that and attack that? Right, we can take that out of there. That's just trash. Oh, that's that, is it? Get some pliers. Gonna turn right goddamn through. Typical. All else fails, chop it off. <laughs> Just thinking outside the square here. Whether that'll work or not, I don't know. I know it'll work. Get the grinder onto it. That works. That definitely works. Oh, well, that's definitely got to come out of there because that's pinched up into there. So I've got to definitely put a grinder through that. I can see that it'll come out quite simple because it's been indent indented there there and there's four sides so yeah do it that way that's that crappy wire and i'm talking it's crap wire that stuff do the cutty radio on that do the cutty radio on that and then we'll go into that I'm not going to worry about the rest on that get the grinder out mind me everyone we're just going to do a bit of cutting here get this apart
not, and that should just fall out of there. It's on the ground. And we're going to get the screw out of the back of that. That's alloy. Domestic. Bit of rubber there. And we've only got these plastic pieces down the back to get out. Now, I should. That's... Do I have to worry about getting those plastic pieces out? Get a decent magnet. Yeah, no, nah, we're going to leave them in there. Because it's not stainless. That's those. This is all plastic, this one. Oh, no, we've got some in there. Oh, so the plastic's on the outside of those. Now we understand. Unscrew that. This is another one of what I've just done. Pull that out of there, that's down there. Screw in there. Oh, I reckon we can not worry about that. Uh, grinder. See how it opened up? That makes life easy for me. That into there. The scrapyard don't like that sort of wire. Well, that, my scrapyard don't anyway. That into there. So that's those. So that's cast alloy. That's cast alloy. Um, what do we got here? That might need the heat gun too. It's not magnetic. Feels like stainless. Heavy. All right. Change the cord over. We'll get the, get the glass out of that. Speed is a key if you can get it done. You get more done in a day. This might take a little bit longer, it's not like aluminium. Aluminium absorbs the heat. Pretty thick, that shit. Oh, look at that. Whoa! Plastic inside that. Wacky do. Get that crap out of there. Oh, that's hot. That's monstrously hot. Uh, hammer's over there. I'm not going to try and break it, I'm going to try and push it through. Here we go, here we go, it worked, it worked! Worked, clean stainless. <laughs> right, glass in the trash. Stainless, woohoo, that's a bit bloody hot. <laughs> Shut the wrist. I can go in there. Real dark red tinge on the grinder when we cut it so that does mark, mark it as stainless we'll put this where it belongs so if it, anyway i'm gonna end it off there everyone just a short video of me unloading the vehicle seeing what this how these were going to come apart like here's another one that should be quite simple allen keys there i don't think the glass would be heated in like i've been doing but yeah it's always handy to have the a heat gun near you. That's only a uh, 1800 watt heat gun. Um, you don't need a real strong one. We did get a few cans, cartons, and plastic glass. Not as much as I thought I did, but still got some. So anyway, if you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll put that one back in there. Um, and if you do hit the notification bell. At least you're going to get notified when we put a new video. It's not like some people I noticed that you are so watching and um, not even subscribing. So if you want to get notified, 
subscribe, mate. No. Get in there and subscribe. It's, it's free. So anyway, till the next one, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one. Wasn't much, but, you no, know, I learned something by pulling these apart. Um, yeah. So till the next one, have your dumpster, have your scrapping, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio!